for disease creation, not control, that basically has the coordinating vaccines already in the uh, lab vials ready to give out. And one of the things that really troubles me, and everybody can use three basic facts to search for the truth. Number one, there is no blood. Hemorrhagic fever is a biosafety level four pathogen that is a virus that is so deadly that the people that deal with it in all the bio labs around the world always have positive pressure suits. They have negative pressure uh, laboratories. And the point being, Alex, is that just as the old commercial said, where's the beef and the hamburgers? This is where's the blood in this. This is a psychological operation. It is a bioweapon that is subpar to the Ebola. Uh, Ebola was first uh, defined and actually articulated in 1976. The bottom line is, at that point, it had an 88% uh, uh, kill ratio. And, Alex, I just put up on my website, I have a link up on the very top right-hand side, stevequail.com, all the news from your site and others on Ebola to try and make a central, if you will, site for people to come to and get the latest news on that. Obviously, we're dealing with something that is unique in the fact that there is no independent verification that is this is Ebola. You know, it's the funny you say that right. because a, a high-level CIA retiree, Steele, said three weeks before this popped up that they were going to release an Ebola simulant, a real biological, but 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 a cover for Ebola and a cover for something else. Uh, and then uh, now on top of that, Obama came out, as you know, last week and said, this is a trial run for a more deadly airborne. Are they throwing it in our face? Yes, they are. They've always thrown it in our face, and it is the Illuminati protocol to mock the stupid people they intend to kill. I want to say that one more time. It is the Illuminati protocol to mock the people they intend to kill. Not only are they telling you how they're going to do it, even when they're doing it. And let's just look at the Ebola czar. I, I think you covered this, too, on your website and on an article. This is one of the head eugenicists in all the world, okay? I mean, this guy is A-W-O-L, absent without uh, love, okay? Not just leave, but without love. When you're talking about, you remember when you and I used to talk about the globalists wanting just to destroy pretty much nine-tenths of the world's population, Georgia Guidestones and all that stuff? What does it say when a man who should be taking charge is totally silent? Number one, Ebola has been weaponized. It has been absolutely part of the bioweapons uh, program of not only the United States, but of Russia and China. In 1992, Ken Alabeck basically defected, bringing the news to the West, which, by the way, was greeted with disdain, contempt, and mockery of Ebola pox. What people have got to understand is this is the quintessential weapon of mass destruction. And just as Alex quoted Obama, and just as this is a trial run, Ebola has been aerosolized. When I first broke the news on chemtrails, and thank you for giving me that credit, very few people do, what I was concerned with, it would be, if you will, an atmospheric petri dish or an atmospheric laboratory that was basically uh, uh, building the atmosphere up or poisoning the atmosphere. So at some later date, it would be the ultimate dispersal uh, vehicle for a biological weapon. In other words, the chemtrails and everything in them, barium, strontium, all of the different aluminum, uh, human blood sites, uh, human blood uh, cells, leukocytes, all the various chemicals, benzenes, etc., was a perfect medium at some point in history to introduce this. This is why they're saying that in the winter, Ebola becomes more, quote, uh, aerosolized, because, again, they have given it such a charge, Alex, meaning an electrical charge, that it binds with the chemicals in the chemtrail spray. Therefore, it falls out. And by the way, I had uh, on a phone conversation the man that was in interviewed, one of the inventors of anthrax and weaponized anthrax, talking about how you can encode it and you can encapsulate it. In other words, put a protective coating around it and maintain the viability. In other words, it's total BS, it's total lies, and people need to just look at the lackadaisical way that the uh, people that are doing the cleanup are approaching this. I can assure everyone, if this were Ebola, this would be a total different picture. Every uh, protocol of the CDC isolation containment has been absolutely abrogated. Steve, I believe you. Uh, you're always on the cutting edge. I want to come back then, give you the floor, and hear from you what you believe it really is, why there's a stand down, 
why there's a cover-up. Do you agree with there's clearly a cover-up? We're getting reports they're disappearing people out of hospitals from medical doctors that I know. They're going on record. Uh, there's so much more coming up. My Magic Mud is a tooth whitening powder that removes plaque and detoxifies your mouth. It's safe for your enamel, giving you a beautiful polish and a dentist light clean after every use. My Magic Mud is also the perfect remedy for pain caused by sensitivity. It strengthens your teeth and gums for a strong, healthy smile. The ingredients are 100% natural and it's safe for children. Simply brush with My Magic Mud right before bedtime for a cleaning you can count on. Visit MyMagicMud.com. Digestive health is key to wellness, and Pro-EM-1 is the key to digestive health. Pro-EM-1 is a daily liquid probiotic that improves food absorption and supports weight loss by removing toxins from your system. Recommended by doctors, Pro-EM-1 is 100% natural, organic, non-GMO, wheat, soy, gluten, and dairy-free. Call us today at 888-611-8025 or visit ProEM1.com to save over $25 on your order. That's 888-611-8025 or P-R-O-E-M-1.com. The lining of your lungs is supposed to be protected with glutathione to neutralize incoming irritants. In the absence of enough glutathione, your lungs are more prone to irritation. Listen to the real-world results of one man using a powerful glutathione-supporting food. Hi, my name is Bill O'Brien. I generally suffer through an asthmatic breathing-type situation. My breathing is shallow and generally constricted in the nose and lungs. After consuming One World Away today, I have tremendous energy and also notice my breathing is free. I can feel the air in my left nostril and it is free all the way to my abdomen, which is pretty remarkable because I rarely get that feeling. Being a singer, I love feeling this unrestricted voice. The only thing new I've actually added to my routine is One World Way. Wow. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. I'm watching and waiting for the right time to take everything you own. I love a dark house. Don't be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone is inside watching TV and makes your home unappealing to would-be thieves. Don't these people ever leave? Starting at $24.95 and there's free shipping. Go to faketv.com or ask for it at your local hardware store. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. There may come a time sometime in the future uh, where we are dealing with a airborne disease that is much easier to catch and is deadly. And uh, in some ways this uh, has created a trial run for uh, this federal, state, and local Public health there you go. Steve Quayle is providers. our guest. I'm your host, Alex Jones. His site, stevequayle.com, infowars.com, prisonplanet.com are our sites. Okay, Steve, this is a short segment. You've got the floor. You've told us what you really think it is, and there's a lot of evidence pointing towards what you're saying. 
from your sources and watching this from day one, are they disappearing people? That's the intel we've got. How big is it? Uh, is this part of a larger plan that another government launched this? What do you know? Well, first of all, yes, they are disappearing people. One of the latest things is coming from Kalispell, Montana. It's on my alerts uh, site, Alex, just simply because the alerts is the most real-time information I get. And they were moved to Missoula, uh, the hospital in Missoula. There's kind of been a news blackout. And obviously, the only people that can order people to shut up are the very same ones that aren't telling us the truth. The point being is, is that from all over, from doctors, from nurses, they are specifically saying that people who come into their hospitals and or clinics are immediately rushed away to places unknown. I want to share something. This has been total BS and a total lie that it takes days to get an Ebola uh, answer. The military has equipment that will do it within less than a half an hour. Some people have told me it's 10 minutes, and these are people in that field. I had a molecular geneticist, okay? Wow, that's a mouthful. Send me an email saying upon investigation, he's finding that these strains of Ebola have, if you will, sticky ends in their DNA. So point being, they're designed, Alex, as a bioweapon to incorporate existing diseases, whether it's the flu, whether it's a cold, whether it's... Let me stop you. Dr. Francis Boyle, who wrote the U.S. Biological Weapons and Anti-Terrorism Law, uh, he was on last Friday and said, it's in the New York Times, he said, Alex, they produced what's now being released at Galveston uh, at the UT Level 4 facility that's in Level 2 that we'd always talk so much about. And, and of course, Dr. Pianca at UT says, get ready, the airborne Ebola is coming, you're all going to die. Ah, ha, ha. I freaked out, connected the dots, the FBI did visit him over it. But this is really getting creepy when I've got former top CIA people. I've got the guy that wrote the Biological Weapons Treaty and law. I've got you. I've got all these sources saying the same thing. This is pretty wild. What's the end game? What is it then? Well, the end game is... He was saying it's merged. He was saying it's merged. That's what I forgot to say. He's saying this new Ebola is meant to tie in to all these other known diseases and start super spreading. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, it, they, they increased the mutagenic or the ability to mutate into all of their bioweapons developed. Now look, here's what people have got to understand. You and I, you linked to it, I linked to it, I think you did a story on it, that by 2025 they're going to claim that the United States population has been lowered to 69 million people. Well, excuse me, that ought to piss off, forgive the language, 250 million people who are going to be dead, you know? And, and the fact is, when we were telling people that, that the globalists, now that's just the United States, their statements over and over and over are global population reduction. So the point being is, is that, look, I have a statement. Those who have been able to look into the future have always been ridiculed by those who are blind, deaf, dumb, and stupid, stuck on stupid, or on the government payroll, okay? The point is, is that in one sense, they want to keep parts of this thing hidden. In the other sense, they want everybody to know what they're doing so they can rub your nose, my nose, and our nose is in it. And basically, now they're saying, Alex, and this is what my sources are saying, it's too late. You guys can't stop it. Well, though we can't stop it, we can save as many lives as possible. And obviously, we're going to look at and have to look at self-quarantine. And look at the fact, on the 17th of October, uh, New York was being prepped for the Ebola outreach and all, or, you know, excuse me, outbreak. And on on almost to the day, a week later, it happens. Now, look, Alex, that has nothing to do with fear mongering. It has nothing to do. See, when we report, and you've done, uh, you know, an exemplary job of always documenting, but you know what? People don't want to think because, number one, it's too scary. Number two, it involves personal responsibility. And number three, the outcome is more than they can psychologically or emotionally handle. So when all of your experts, I'm talking to molecular biologists, the same thing, I'm talking to generals. You know, 1976, let me just say this, for everybody that wanted to know, it's a, it was a basis of the movie Outbreak. That was a purely biological 
biological, race-specific weapon dumped in Africa. And I still maintain, Alex, that this is a race-specific weapon. When they rush the people back to America, they're looking for any, any, excuse me, any antibodies that they may not have identified in the 360 uh, very So it is a test, as Obama said, to soup it up. That's what Boyle's saying. It's what Wayne Mads is saying. It's what you're saying. And then now the czar over Ebola says there's too many black people in Africa. That's the number one issue is getting rid of those folks. We're on the mark.